Assalamu alaikum and good morning to all of you. How are you all doing? Great too? Good? That's very great. Yes, I'm also good. Alhamdulillah. Thank you. Welcome to your numeracy class. So in today's class as well, we will be continuing with the topic that we started yesterday. That is about weight, right? So let's quickly revise what we have learned so far. What is weight? Can you define weight for me? Excellent, Abdullah. Weight basically tells us that how heavy an object is, right? Okay. So weight means how heavy an object is, right? So when we measure the weight of an object, it basically tells us that how heavy it is. And we have, have we discussed about the unit of weight as well? No, not so far, right? So we will be discussing it in today's class. So in yesterday's class, we discussed about the heavier and lighter objects. So I showed you different types of objects and we handle them, we hold them in our hands. And then we have seen that whether this is heavier, this is lighter according to its weight. Let's say if I take the example of this, I'm having the marker in one hand and the duster in the other hand. So this feels, it gives me the feeling that the duster is heavier than the marker. This means that the duster has more weight than the marker, right? Okay. Similarly, we also discussed another example that let's say if we have two books of different sizes, we when we hold them, it gives us an idea that which is lighter and which is heavier object. And I gave you a home assignment related to it that you are supposed to hold different objects from your home around you, hold them in your hands and then tell me, make a list of them and tell me which one is lighter and which one is heavier. So how many of you have done that activity? Raise your hands. Wonderful. So can you share it with me that what were the objects that you hold and which, what was the thing, which were the thing heavier and which were the things which were lighter? Yes. Share it with me. Okay, so let's start with Sarah. Yes, Sarah. Okay. The same objects that we practice in the class. Okay, so what was that? A stapler and a sharpener. And which one was heavier? A stapler. Excellent. Okay, then what else? A tablespoon and a teaspoon. And which one was heavier? Tablespoon. Excellent. What else? A tennis ball and a cricket ball. So a cricket ball is bigger in size and tennis ball is smaller. So this means that cricket ball would be heavier and tennis ball would be lighter, right? Okay. What else? A ruler and a pencil. Okay. And which one was heavier? pencil okay class so all of you have practiced it very well done so this through this you must give an, get an idea about how we can measure the weight of something right okay now in today's class we will be learning about the measuring weight that what is what is the measuring unit what is the unit of measuring weight so let's start it with an activity over here i have these two clay balls of two colors the one is in pink color and the other one is orange now all of, both of them are in same size right so if I hold them in my hand, the one in one hand and the other in the second hand, they are of same weight, right? Now let's see that what if we change the shape of it? Let's say I turn this one into a spherical ball. See, it has changed into a spherical ball, right? Similarly, I'll change this one as well into the spherical ball. Now see, this is also turned into a ball, right? So previously it, wa it were in the cylindrical shape and now they are in the shape of balls, right? So why I have changed them basically in order to get the idea that whether it affects the weight of the thing, no, there is no effect. They are of the same weight, whether they are in cylindrical shape or in this shape, they are having the same weight. So through this activity, what we get to know, the idea that we get from this activity is that even if we change the shape of an object, the weight of it remains same. Got it? So let, let me give you the um, some one more example of this. Let's say you have a glass of water in a glass, right? And if you hold it in your hand you and you feel the weight of it, now what if you pour that water into a water bottle? So its weight would remain same. 
this would not be the case that when you will pour that glass of water into a bigger bottle its weight will change no weight will remain same so this means that the shape of an object does not affect its weight got it okay now before moving forward i'm going to share the screen with you so let's watch this video relating to measuring weight and then we will discuss the its unit and what are the things that we use to measure the weight this is my gym and i lift weights here hmm you can see that i have Big weights on the rod. Let me lift it. Oh, oh it's difficult. Oof, there's too much of weight. Maybe I should try some less weight. Hmm, and then I can lift it. Let's try that. Let's go then. Yes. I can lift this one. Yeah, because the weight is less and not so heavy. Thank you everyone for watching me weight lift. But hey, let's measure your weight. Hmm, let's put this on a weighing machine. The luggage. You must have seen that machine at the airport. When you put the luggage on it, it tells you Okay, there is this weighing machine which tells us about your weight. If you have visited, when you visit, usually when you visit a doctor, they first measure your weight, right? So there is this weighing machine which looks like a box which is placed on the floor, and you just stand it or stand over it, and it tells you about your weight in kgs, right? Similarly, there is this weighing machine which is on airports. So before boarding into the plane, they measure the weight of your luggage. so that it does not cross the limit right similarly we have a weighing machine in the shops as well well that weighing machine is a bit different it looks different but the function is same that it measures the weight of the object that we buy right and it also measures the weight in kg you might have seen a weighing machine uh, with the, uh, the fruit sellers as well they also have the weighing machines and uh in those weighing machine they measure the fruits for us right okay let's move forward how heavy it is in kgs which is kilograms or sometimes in lbs which is pounds hmm so this is how you weigh through a machine let's learn more about weights then Let's go children. Okay, so they have tell you about that what is weight, how we can measure it and what are different measuring machines through which we can use. Now I want all of you to please open your book page number 81. This is 81, page number 81 and the first activity we have already done that what was the activity that you are supposed to take to clay um lumps of clay in different two different colors of the same size then first this place them in the spherical shape or in cylindrical shape then change the shape and observe that whether the weight of it has changed or not now you are uh, because all of you does not have the clay right now with you so this is your home assignment that you will be yes practice it at your home and then let me know that whether the weight of it changes or not okay so uh, afterwards they have talked about the unit of Weight, right? Light, like, like while we were while we were discussing about the length, we discussed that the standard unit to measure length is meter, right? And for smaller lengths, we have a unit which is centimeter, right? That this is the unit of length. Similarly, when we talk about the weight, we have a unit. The standard unit of weight is grams, and the symbol which is used is g. okay this is used for smaller measures and for the great bigger measures we use kilograms and the symbol is kg okay what else it says that a paper clip may weigh 4 or 5 grams a small apple may weigh about 100 grams 
10 CDs with their covers weigh about a 1,000 grams and weights are measured using weighing scales or different types. Over here, we have a balanced beans. This type of balanced beans are used like we were discussing in the fruit salad shop, right? Then we have these scales. This is used for bigger measures. And then we have the spring balance as well. It is also used by the shopkeepers, right? I'm going to share the screen with you. Some uh, I'll We will discuss some more weighing machines over here the spring scale is discussed balance scale then we have this digital scale we have this bathroom scale well this bathroom scale is used to measure your weight as well right or the weighing machine which is being placed in the hospitals as well and then we have this kitchen scale on the kitchen scale you can measure let's say you are baking a cake and uh, in the recipe it says that you are supposed to take 250 grams of rising floor right so how will you measure that how will you come to know that it's 250 gram you can measure it on this kitchen scale you will put it in a bowl you will put it in a uh, cup and you will put that cup over this machine and it will tell you that how many grams of it is available okay so now what is your class activity that you are supposed to draw a picture of your favorite weighing machine in your notebook hurry up take out your notebooks Search for different types of, like the picture that I have shown you, search the picture of different weighing machines on internet. You know that how to search, right? We have learned it together in our computing class. So search for it and tell me which is your favorite. Hurry up. All of you are done? Okay, wonderful. That was all for today. We have learned about how we can measure weight. So inshallah in tomorrow's class, we'll be practicing some more about it. Hope you guys enjoyed the lecture. Do share this video with others because it's free learning. Do good and have good. I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Take care. Allah Hafiz.